Addicts shooting up outside. Our house has been broken into, uh, our car has been stolen. We feel um, uncomfortable and unsafe in our home. Neighbors concerned for their safety. They're taking matters into their own hands and patrolling the area they say is now being overrun by drug addicts. They're claiming a local needle exchange site in southeast Portland is not doing enough to keep the area safe from clients, but they don't want it to shut down. Arvelina Jones also spoke to people who have a very different view on the impact of the site. We find needles nonstop. We have people that we have drug dealers in front of our house that are selling. We have people buying drugs, shooting up, passing out in front of our house. Mindy and Delaney say that's a typical Friday night. They live near a needle exchange site at St. Peter and Paul Episcopal Church in southeast Portland. It's not the exchange itself they have a problem with, but what happens when organizers and security leave at 9. And it's just frustrating that we don't feel like there's any follow-up to make sure that the neighborhood feels safe. Mm -hmm. They've had their house broken into, cars stolen, and even threatened by people they say are coming from that site. As a part of a new mission, Montevella Neighborhood Group Enough is Enough is starting to patrol the area after dark. We're mostly just trying to keep an eye out. We're trying to make sure that things are staying safe and livable and that people don't feel afraid to leave their homes. Those who support the county run program that serve an average of 88 clients on any given Friday and a total of 1,700 this year say they haven't seen those same problems. All the research around needle exchanges show that it reduces the spread of disease. It actually reduces the needle litter in a neighborhood. Um, and it just we're really proud to be to be connected with that. What we want to do is work with the community to do things that make for a more safe and livable community. And that means getting people, getting dirty needles off the street, getting people into treatment. John, a former addict himself, doesn't doubt there's a problem with crime, but believes the group causes another issue. The needle exchange is not the problem. Right? This is a problem that exists no matter where you go in the city. And I believe that these people are dangerous in the sense that they're fear mongering. In Southeast Portland, Valina Jones, Coin Six News.